since the president is in a few high risk categories, a positive COVID-19 test is serious, and we know this virus has proven to be very unpredictable. I want to do Marcus Solis spoke uh, with doctors uh, about his diagnosis. He's live in White Plains with the very latest Marcus. And Liz, mild symptoms, doctors say, do not necessarily correlate to a mild course of illness. Just how serious coronavirus will impact President Trump depends on individual risk factors. He's not only the highest profile person to contract COVID. At 74 years old, President Trump is among those at higher risk of developing serious complications. People in their 60s, for example, and 70s, and particularly in the mid-70 to 80 range, you're seeing that the infection fatality rate is around 5%. Dr. Sandra Cash is an epidemiologist with WestMed. She says besides the president's age, his weight and the fact that he's male are additional risk factors. Today, the White House said Mr. Trump is experiencing mild symptoms. A lot of people do have mild symptoms and then progress to severe symptoms. And in the early stages of the pandemic, we saw that around five to seven days into it, people would get significantly and acutely worse. The typical incubation period is five to seven days, meaning the president was likely already infected during Tuesday night's debate and a rally on Wednesday. Dr. Kesh says the concern is additional spread. Much of the spread happens in the couple of days before you actually develop symptoms. Testing a lot of times gives people false reassurance. And so a lot of the rapid tests, for example, that people are putting a lot of credence into are not that accurate. And Dr. Kesh says a takeaway should be the importance and uh, the effectiveness as well of mask wearing and social distancing because they are preventive tools. We're live in White Plains, Marcus Souls, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.